Hello everyone. Uh, today is going to be a fun one. I, I'm fairly new at this and I need to find uh, what tools I can use to make some interesting effects. So I've got a bunch of things here. So I've got a skewer, a palette knife, I'm going to use the end of the paintbrush here, pop stick, I'm going to try a piece of string without anything on it and a piece of string dipped in paint. Um, I'm going to try just a paintbrush, a fork and a tile adhesive applicator. So I've got a bunch of leftover paints that I'm going to use to make the canvas look a little bit interesting before we start to use our tools to make some changes. Uh, I'm going to have the colours layered and then the black. So I'll put that all on now. Let's get the canvas ready. Now these paints, because they're leftovers, they have all kinds of different things mixed in with them. Um, mostly Floetrol, glue oil and water. Some white and then the rest going to be black. Just wanting to keep it interesting. Use up some leftover paints. Now that we've got our surface prepared, let's start with a skewer. And I think I will go for some kind of squiggle line. Okay, that's the skewer. Then we'll try the end of a paintbrush. So let's do the same thing. Very similar result there. Now sometimes I put a bit on here, but today we're just, actually we might, just for an experiment, just going to put a double white. Nice. I like that one. Now the palette knife. Uh, you can do all sorts of things with the palette knife. We could try other things with that, but that, I mean, look, we've got some cells happening with that too. That's nice. All right. Let's try dry string. Just going to lay that in the paint. Let's press it down. And then pull it from this side. Okay. That's not really what I was expecting. Now. Let's get our other piece of string. And I'm going to dip it. Oh, look at me. All over. 
the shot. I'm going to dip it in the paint. Okay. Like so. And let's pull that. Okay, well that's got some cute little bits there. It's quite different. Okay, what do we got next? Just a handy paintbrush. Okay. Okay, it's dragged a little bit through. These I find are all quite similar. Let's try the finger. So that's dragged more through there. Fork, I've been hanging out to try this one. Mm -hmm. and last but not least, this is a four millimeter B notch. Uh, not really. I guess we want to take it a bit on an angle. Oh, wow. That is interesting. That's quite pretty through there. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to do a bonus because I'm really digging the lacing in this palette knife. That's this one here. I'm going to try a bigger one on the end here because uh, that just looks really cool. So here we go. I'm taking a lot more paint with me this time. But we're getting some opening up. I hope that opens up a bit more. So it could just be dependent because obviously with this one you're only taking a small amount with you and this one you're taking quite a lot it's a bit dirty as well so you can see how much paint I've taken through whereas this one it all sort of mixed and blended together so I probably have more white in this one which is probably that's just, that is just amazing so, I mean, I've had so much problems oh, with lacing, but that looks really nice. So, I'm going to let that sit for a bit, and um, then I'll bring you in for a look. So, here's a closer look. The first two lines are pretty similar. Um, they peak about the same time. I'd say the paintbrush took it a little bit further. I think the other one finishes here. 
Now, again, it depends on how heavy you are with the tools as well. So, um, and your paint consistency and all of that. These obviously all have the same um, paint consistency and are all used by my hand. So uh, your hand may be a little different. So that's why I encourage you to experiment yourselves. Um, so then we had the pop stick. Now I added some white to the pop stick here. And I think that was really effective. Um, the way it brings it through so you can do it without the popstick and then you'd pr uh, without the paint and then you'd probably end up with something similar to those then we had the palette knife and this is where we get some beautiful lacing that's got the color through it and everything um, and an interesting effect through there as well. And this looks like a candle with some smoke. Yeah, so I was very happy with that. Then we had the string. And we had the string with uh, nothing on it, so just dry. And next to it, the string with the turquoise on it which um, gave some very interesting effects up the top so the string with nothing on it does basically nothing just drags the paint and it ends up being straight whereas if you put some paint on it you can get some really cool effects so I'll definitely be experimenting with more string then we had what was it next we had the paintbrush and the finger. Similar, similar consistency, uh, thicknesses there, I guess. Um, but you can see, just need to focus in here, where it's broken up a bit, just down here, um, where I guess the paintbrush, the flatness of the paintbrush split the yellow open. And it's the fingers done it a bit here but because the finger is more rounded and um, over a bigger area, I think it just carried the paint differently. You can see it took a lot more through the top and continued all the way to the very end. The fork, well, that was interesting. I didn't know what I was expecting from the fork, but taking it through here, it left... Did some really interesting effects through there. I'm going to have to show you when it's dry because um, the reflection is making it hard to see. The trowel, uh, it's really cool. This, this is so pretty. Oh, can't take you in really close. But yeah, very pretty. And then we've got lacing at the top which is quite small, um, but yeah, we'll have a look at that when it's dry. And then I just tried a bigger trowel, a bigger palette knife to see how that would go through. And that took a lot more of the paint, but we do have some lacing at the top. Um, yeah, that may still continue to develop, but I'd say that's probably about it. So yeah, great experiment. Do this yourselves. Uh, well worth it. All right, here it is dry. Now um, it's much easier to see now without all the glare from the lights. So let's take you in again. And we've got the the skewer and the paintbrush handle um, and they've taken the paint you can see the distance now how far they've taken the paint and then the pop stick with the white through it it's taken it even further uh, so down here I didn't clean up 
the paint like I didn't smooth it out so basically the palette knife took the paint and dragged it through but uh, this didn't close up now I left that on purpose because I wanted to be able to remind myself if I'm using something like this that I need to um, go back and touch it up before it dries but yeah I've got a bit of a, some interesting shapes through here and then here is that lacing which um, yeah turned out quite well uh, then we had the dry string and the string with the paint um, which left it all the way down here again the dry string took the paint with it whereas when you add the paint um, to it it's fine same with the white there was no issues there so um, here's those little close-up of those wispy bits that the uh, that got left behind um, which turned out I uh, quite like really need to have a go at that uh, then we had the paintbrush and the finger both taking paint away um, so you can see through to the canvas here um, and they both split open here I don't know if you can see that get the shine away there we go so that that uh, turned out quite nice um, and they both took it all the way to the end uh, the finger seemed to actually both of them have taken the blue through um, quite a bit on the turquoise and then the fork um, that actually didn't take the paint away here like the finger and the uh, paintbrush did um, it's taken it through and then up here it's split and that is really effective uh, yeah so it all forked off which was very cool the um, tile spreader tile adhesive spreader did take a bit away from here but it it's not as bad as these which is interesting I thought it would actually be worse but um, yeah not not so bad um, and through here there's some lovely shading hopefully you can see that nice and clear and then we had some lacing further up so that's another one I'm going to experiment with down the track um, yeah and then the the last one which was the bonus one this here is because I had to pick out something with the tweezers and it uh, left a blemish so you got to be aware that when you're picking stuff out it could um, upset things a little bit and then up the top we had some lacing as well so swiping is something I definitely need to practice which is basically what was happening here the lacing worked well on here which is what I've been going wanting to get so yeah but I like the fork and I think I'm gonna have a go at that tomorrow um, or in the next video should I say yeah so some tools for me to practice with so I hope you enjoyed this um, little experiment um, like I said go out and have a go at it yourselves see what you've got lying around the house you never know what you might find that, that uh, could make some interesting effects or you can make your own tools up yeah so that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one bye